Okay, we back in Jersey City. The Marion Gardens Enterprise is a criminal street gang comprised primarily of members of the Brim and Sex Money Murder subsets of the Blood Street Gang, who reside in and around the Marion Gardens housing complex, located in Jersey City, New Jersey. Although associated with the Bloods, members of the Marion Gardens Enterprise represent, first and foremost, the Marion Projects. They're known for drug distribution as well as for violence against rival groups within and around Jersey City. They utilize the nickname, 300, and a hand sign, the One-Eyed Willie, usually common among Bloods. They show affiliation to the number 57 or 57, which is a reference to building 57 within the Marion Gardens housing complex. This is where they would congregate or hang out. The utilization of social media platforms showed affiliation to the gang through photographs and videos, and those paying homage to deceased members. So, the crew from Marion Gardens engaged in beef with other crews, such as Wilkinson and Salaf. It was basically an on-site thing. Failure to put in work would result in discipline by fellow gang members and a lack of respect within the gang. Retaliation for any fallen members was a must. Let's get into some of the crimes of the gang. On or about July 28, 2011, members of the Enterprise murdered 26-year-old Alan Cousins in the area of Gifford Avenue and Bergen Avenue in Jersey City. Sticky, 22, and Lala, 21 at the time, were charged with Alan's murder less than two months after it occurred. Mike, 22 at the time, was arrested shortly after the killing and was charged with murdering Alan, who was shot twice in the back at Gifford and Bergen Avenues at about 2 a.m. Mike confessed, according to court document and regarding the motive, Mike had a belief that Alan had taken his bicycle and he decided to go after him. Sticky, who was in prison on unrelated charges, and Lala, who had not been caught at the time, had allegedly participated in the homicidal attack. Police recovered two guns after Alan's death. Both gunshot wounds suffered by Alan entered his back and exited his chest. Sticky was in state prison from January 19, 2010 to September 27, 2010, came home, and he returned to prison on August 9, 2011. He had three drug convictions and one for eluding police in a motor vehicle. Then he was charged with murder while in there. Lala was out on a $100,000 bail, stemming from arrests in May and September of 2010, and police were searching for him. After a witness identified Lala as one of the shooters, confusing Lala with another member, KK, Lala falsely testified under oath on April 19, 2013, and pled guilty to a weapons charge related to the murder of Alan, notwithstanding that he was not present. On or about February 7, 2013, Beans and Moot fled from law enforcement after firing several shots in the area of West Side Avenue and Pollock Avenue in Jersey City. Moot possessed a 38 caliber revolver, which contained five spent shell casings and a ski mask. And Beans possessed a 9mm handgun, with a defaced serial number and an empty magazine. On October 16, 2015, as a result of an internal dispute, the Marion Gardens Enterprise would lose another member of their crew, on their own turf, the Marion Gardens Complex. More than three months after the murder, homicide detectives arrested and charged a 19-year-old with a man's murder. Marcus was charged with murdering Donald Gadson, who was found by police officers responding to a report of a male being shot at about 11.25 p.m. Gadson suffered a gunshot wound to his upper body, and he was found on the ground outside the building's entrance. He was transported to the Jersey City Medical Center Barnabas Health, where he was pronounced dead at about 11.50 p.m. People who knew him called him Mark for short. Gadsden had worked the past two years as a mail carrier before his death. At the killer's sentencing, it was learned Mark's girlfriend at the time was pregnant. It seemed that the homicide was over an incident that pitted Marcus against his longtime friend. At Marcus's sentencing, he said, things were not supposed to go that way, I loved him. People make me out to be some kind of bad guy, but I never woke up wanting to kill someone I grew up with. I'm wrong for what I did, most wrong. Marcus was sentenced to 11 years in prison. On or about December 16, 2015, KK, Lil K, Broad Day, and two other associates of the Enterprise fled from law enforcement and crashed following a high-speed motor vehicle pursuit. During this motor vehicle pursuit, one of the occupants discarded a firearm out the window. It was later recovered and confirmed to be a loaded 9mm Taurus. KK, Lil K, and Broad Day fled on foot after abandoning the crashed vehicle. 
According to this indictment, nothing noteworthy happens until April 26, 2016, when Rondell Rush, aka Mr. 300, was killed. He was a member of Marion Gardens, hence the 300 Enterprise. Jersey City police officers came upon a group of people moving a wounded Rush into a car on Fulton Avenue near Martin Luther King Drive at about 5 p.m. Officers, who had not witnessed the shooting, ordered them to stop, but the vehicle left and was stopped about four blocks away outside of Sacred Heart Church on Martin Luther King Drive. At that point, Rush was taken by ambulance to Jersey City Medical Center Barnabas Health. He was pronounced dead at 1.38 p.m. Residents of the block were divided when asked to describe the neighborhood. This neighborhood is very good, you got drugs and whatever, but on this block, you don't get gunshots. Another person called that bullcrap and said it was a typical hood. Shootings happen every day. I plan to get the hell out of here. Four days later, on April 30, 2010, Isaiah Huggins of Wilkerson Avenue was charged with a murder as a juvenile. But by November of that year, he was arrested as an adult. His involvement with the criminal justice system even as a juvenile is somewhat involved and included several assaults. He would end up going to trial and was faced with 30 years if convicted. After almost two years, here's what happens. The jury took only a few hours of deliberation to find him not guilty of all six counts he faced in the murder of Rondell Rush, aka Mr. 300. Thank you very much for a fair trial your honor, said a choked up Isaiah Huggins to Hudson County Superior Court judge after the verdict was rendered. Rondell's family members and friends immediately left the courtroom after hearing the jury say jurors had unanimously found Huggins not guilty of murder, aggravated manslaughter, reckless manslaughter, and firearm offenses, including possession of a gun by a juvenile. Huggins turned and gave a wide grin to his family members and friends in the courtroom gallery after hearing the verdict. After the acquittal, his attorney said she preferred Huggins not comment, adding, he's overwhelmed. Huggins leaned forward with his elbows on the defense table and his hands folded in front of his face upon hearing the acquittal. The state's key witness, Romance, 19, of Jersey City, testified that on the day of the homicide, Huggins told him he wanted to fight Rush and the pair went looking for him. He said when they found him, Huggins pulled out a gun and opened fire. The allegation was that Huggins had a beef with Rush. From the start of the trial, the defense said Romance was the actual gunman and the investigation was botched. Huggins' defense said that investigators never sought to find video evidence to corroborate Romance's statement fingering Huggins, never spoke to people he mentioned in his statement, and, in fact, quickly closed the case and issued a warrant for Huggins. The state showed the jury numerous clips of security video captured in the minute before the shooting. Romance identified himself as the man wearing all dark clothing and Huggins as the person wearing a light-colored top. Romance said they walked to the area of the homicide. Under tough cross-examination by one of defense attorneys, Romance told the jury his first statement to police was a lie. The defense pointed out that Romance fingered Higgins only after being shown video evidence that showed both him and Huggins heading to the area of the shooting. The defense produced a witness to the shooting who said the gunman was wearing all dark clothing. She said the gunman opened fire in the middle of the street a few doors from her home as she watched from her porch. She said he had his back to her. Romance was not charged in connection to the shooting at that time, although he had unrelated charges pending, according to testimony. You can assume that this did not scare or deter Huggins from the street because he would be charged with another murder in 2018, but that's another story. Let's get back to the 300 gang, the Marion Gardens Enterprise. On or about May 16, 2016, Lil K and several other members of the Enterprise distributed narcotics within the Marion Gardens housing complex. That day, it may have been some sort of raid because the indictment talks of how the crew used an apartment to stash narcotics and other items. This included one Smith & Wesson 38 caliber revolver, which was loaded with six rounds of ammunition. Approximately 105 vials of cocaine base, approximately 399 glassine envelopes of heroin, one plastic bag containing cocaine, two clear plastic bags containing marijuana, one digital scale, and packaging materials. The next recorded shooting didn't happen until about November 5, 2017. Members and associates of the Marion Gardens Enterprise drove to the area of Van Nostrand Avenue and Bergen Avenue in a caravan of several vehicles. Upon arriving in that area, three members of the Enterprise exited their respective vehicles, brandished firearms, and shot victim CC in the leg. 
During this incident, members discharged at least nine rounds of ammunition from at least three firearms, including 540 caliber rounds, 245 caliber rounds, and 29 milli rounds. Following this incident, the members and associates of the Enterprise reconvened at the Marion Gardens housing complex. Three weeks later, on or about November 26, 2017, members and associates of the Enterprise traveled to the area of Warner Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive, at which time two of them exited a silver Lexus and started shooting. One victim, TC, was shot multiple times in the legs, back, and chest. During this incident, members of the Enterprise discharged at least 12 rounds of ammunition, including seven 357 caliber rounds and five 45 caliber rounds, the latter of which were fired from the same firearm that discharged the 45 caliber rounds during the shooting three weeks prior, the shooting of victim CC. A few days later, on or about December 3, 2017, Broad Day and two other members and associates of the Enterprise traveled in the silver Lexus that was utilized during the shooting of victim TC and drove to the same area where victim TC was shot, Warner Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive. Upon arrival, Broad Day exited the silver Lexus, approached the corner of Warner Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive, where a crowd of people were gathered. It was about 12.30 a.m. when Broad Day discharged at least 11 40 caliber rounds of ammunition from the same firearm used in the November 5, 2017 shooting of victim CC. While shooting, Broad Day shot and killed 28-year-old Rymer. Two others were also injured. Rymer was pronounced dead at the scene. On or about February 7, 2018, KK and another member of the Enterprise encountered victim RB, a member of Montgomery, in the area of Summit Avenue and Magnolia Avenue. Upon encountering RB, KK and the other member of the Enterprise physically assaulted him. Meech was a member of the Marion Gardens Enterprise and the brother of New Jersey rapper Al B. Al. Meech was killed on June 30, 2013. The killer was arrested at Bergen and Lexington Avenues, two blocks from the scene of Meech's murder. According to the criminal complaint, a witness told police that the alleged killer at the time, Anthony, was with Meech when Meech was murdered, and video footage shows Anthony running away from Meech after the shooting. Anthony and Meech had gotten into an argument, which escalated into violence. No witnesses could say what the argument was about. Anthony shot Meech a total of five times three times in the upper right back, once in the back right thigh and once in the jaw. Meech was later pronounced dead at the Jersey City Medical Center Barnabas Health. Besides the aggravated manslaughter, Anthony had pleaded guilty to two other unrelated incidents, one related to drug charges, and the second related to drug charges and the possession of a sawed-off shotgun. In 2015, he was sentenced to 13 years for the murder. On or about June 30, 2018, Broad Day, Moot, Lil K, and other members and associates of the Enterprise gathered in the courtyard of the Marion Gardens housing complex to pay homage to Meech on the anniversary of his death. To further that homage, Broad Day, Lil K, Moot, and another associate of the Enterprise traveled to the area near where Meech was killed. Upon observing an individual who Broad Day recognized to be a member of a rival gang, Broad Day, Lil K, and Mood exited their vehicle, ran to John F. Kennedy Boulevard, and shot five people. A week later, another shooting. On or about July 6, 2018, Broad Day, Lil K, Beans, and at least one other member of the Enterprise traveled to the area of Wilkinson Avenue, at which time, two people were shot. On or about November 16, 2018, Sticky, Beans, and KK fled from the Marion Gardens housing complex after discharging a 40 caliber firearm from an apartment that the Enterprise used to stash narcotics and ammunition. In or around this time, Sticky and Broad Day threatened a resident in the Marion Gardens housing complex to prevent that resident from providing information about the Enterprise to law enforcement. Before the new year would come in, Marion Gardens would lose another member of the crew. On December 26, 2018, 16-year-old Judane Holmes, also known as Draco, who had just become a father two months earlier, was shot on Bidwell Avenue between Bergen Avenue and Martin Luther King Drive. It happened at 3.25 p.m., the day after Christmas. Eyewitness say the shooting happened inside a fast food restaurant and they saw a gunman flee the scene. Police said the suspect was wearing a black ski mask. Draco was pronounced dead at the scene. 
On or about January 9, 2019, in retaliation for the murder of Draco, Broad Day and Beans traveled to the area of Grant Avenue and Ocean Avenue to locate and retaliate against rival gang members believed to be involved in Draco's death. When they got to that area, Broad Day used the same 40 caliber handgun that was discharged in the Marion Gardens housing complex on November 16, 2018, to shoot at rivals. He hit two of them and attempted to hit a third. On or about June 9, 2019, after being shot at by rival gang member, KK brandished a firearm and attempted to shoot back at the rival. KK then handed the firearm to another member and associate of the Enterprise to avoid detection from law enforcement. As far as these guys go, this about wraps it up, but not really though. We did another side story on them, but it seems we will have more to talk about down the line, as members from this crew had been indicted again in March of 2023. Ten people associated with the Marion Gardens housing complex were charged for their roles in a drug trafficking conspiracy. Since March 2021, members committed numerous acts of violence, including a murder on March 29, 2021, a murder on November 20, 2021, and a murder on November 1, 2022. But that's all we will get into for now, as they have their own story, so this officially wraps it up for this one. But as always stay low and thanks for watching.